This video presents the basic concepts of SmartDraw to help new users get started in creating sophisticated professional diagrams. To get started in SmartDraw, we'll be providing you with an overview of not only the features and functionality, but our proven best practices. We begin with two main areas. To the right, you'll find the template preview area that fills most of the real estate of your screen. This is where you'll be able to access over 70 categories of diagrams. In the left panel, you'll see the 70 categories that contain more than 800 templates. We recommend that you start in the popular category. Here, you'll find the most commonly used SmartDraw templates. We're going to use the flowchart template. In the template preview area, you're given three flowchart template options. Just below that, you'll find sample diagrams. The sample diagrams are a great way to get started on your next diagram. Samples can inspire you or simply give you an idea of how to use that particular template. Simply select a diagram, for example, the hiring process, and an editable version of the sample then appears on screen. Now we're ready to take a look at SmartDraw's user interface. Let's start with a flowchart template and explore the SmartDraw user interface in more detail. Every SmartDraw diagram has its own specialized Smart Panel docked to the left of the drawing area. These put automated drawing tools and symbols specific to that kind of diagram right at your fingertips. So here we see the common symbols you need to build a flowchart. There would be a whole different set of symbols if this were a floor plan or an org chart template. If you don't see what you need docked to your diagram, you can also search our entire collection of symbols here. Below the symbol library are the drawing tools specific to your selected diagram type. In this case, you can add symbols in any direction, split paths, change the spacing of your diagram, or change other settings for your visual. Again, these tools will be specific to whatever diagram you're building to make your work easier. All other UI elements, such as the ribbons above your work area, will be consistent for all SmartDraw diagram types. The Home tab will be open by default because it contains the most commonly used commands. Here, you'll find buttons to export, share, print, and adjust the style of your shapes and text. Click the Export button to export your diagram as a PDF, SVG, or a PNG file. Or choose Export for Office, and you can paste an image of your diagram into any of the Microsoft Office programs. Using the Share button, you can email a direct link to your document to anybody. They don't need to log in or create an account to view your diagram. You can even choose whether they have read-only or full edit rights. Right below the Share button is the Print button. You'll want to use this button to print your diagram. The rest of the Home tab consists of tools you're probably more familiar with, such as Copy and Paste, Undo, and various shape, line, and text styling options. This section is particularly useful in customizing your visuals. To help you design professional visuals, SmartDraw provides a good selection of themes you can apply to your visual in just one click. To get more creative, you have a large number of fill options that let you control things like opacity, gradients, and textures. Once you've made any changes to your document, it will be automatically saved online. To explicitly save your document with a specific name or under a specific folder location, you'll want to check out the File tab. You can even save your diagram to one of these popular file hosting services and share it with coworkers that way. The Design tab contains commands to help you further customize your visuals. Control the width, height, and alignment of the objects in your work area. Group objects together, rotate, or flip objects, or choose from all sorts of options to control dimensions, connection points, text entry, and grow properties. These tools give you total control over how you build and customize your drawings. The Insert tab lets you import pictures, add notes, or add hyperlinks to any shape. The Page tab lets you change the look of your background, configure the layout of your work area, change the scale of your document, or turn off and on rulers, grids, page dividers, or snapping. With SmartDraw, you can insert tables into any object in your visual. Just select the Insert Table button under this Table tab. All of the tools to edit your tables are here, like adding and removing rows and columns and joining and splitting cells. Under the Options tab, you can select Full Screen to view your visual full size on your monitor, 
without seeing the SmartRock user interface. Here you can also find spelling and spell check options. The support tab contains a link to our support page, a link to our helpful resource center, and an option to send feedback about your experience using SmartRaw. Besides all of the tools in the Smart Panel and the ribbon, you can right-click in the work area and on the objects themselves for easy access to many of these tools and assets. With an understanding of these fundamentals, you'll be able to maximize every SmartRaw tool to communicate visually and effectively.